We're at uh, 3438 East 113th. So I personally, uh, I like to go with the Section 8. But what do I know? I'm just a dude who sold 200 friggin' million dollars worth of this stuff, okay? T take it for what you want. Interesting brick. I like it. It's that faux, like, yeah, it's a, it's a fiber board. And then you're going to be bringing home. $1,700 a month of cash flow. That is why people from all over the USA come here to Cleveland, right? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you giving it to you straight. Y'all, if you are trying to buy properties in Cleveland, I have one you're going to want to check out. If you're looking for that low-cost Section 8 cash flow, this is it, right? 3438 East 113th Street, right? This thing coming to you at a basement bargain price, y'all. It's got some love that you need to give to it, okay? But there is going to be obviously a reason why you could pick something up this cheap that's going to be able to generate $1,700 a month in Section 8 cash flow. Now, technically, you don't have to go uh, with Section 8 cash flow. You could, you could put cash-paying tenants in there. That's totally fine. That's completely up to you. I myself believe when you're in this particular asset class, though, uh, you as an investor are in a much more advantageous situation when you have government-guaranteed rent coming in, okay? It can be hit or miss on your ability to get people to pay consistently uh, when you're in an asset class neighborhood like this, right? So I personally... Uh, I like to go with the Section 8, but what do I know? I'm just a dude who sold 200 friggin' million dollars worth of this stuff, okay? T take it for what you want. You want to do it a different way, that's totally fine with me, right? You just got to give this thing a little bit of love, right? We got one brand new furnace in there. It's like a year or two old. Uh, the other one needs to be installed. You need a new furnace, right? So you got to get yourself a new furnace. You're good on the roof. That's only like about five or so years old. We got a bunch of drone footage of the roof, right? My dude Tyler's probably got that on the screen for you right now. Just massive... Just look at that roof porn, y'all. Look at it. It's beautiful. That's a that's a mighty that's a mighty handsome roof. Okay. Now the roof, uh, as you can tell, different a little different color uh, than like the the porch roof. So the porch roof is a little bit older. But that that actual physical dwelling roof itself, y'all, uh, very new. Um, so you just really need to go in there, uh, get a furnace, get a couple hot water tanks. Do a bunch of cleanup. We got some holes, some of this, some of that, right? So you got to do a bunch of, you know, cosmetic unit turnover type stuff, right? So you got your acquisition costs plus your drop in. Oh, I don't know. Probably, you know, 20 to 30 maybe, okay? Uh, depending on how you handle the repairs. Obviously, if you're doing the repairs yourself, if you got that type of infrastructure, you're a handyman, you got your own hourly employees, it could be much cheaper, right? And then you're going to be bringing home seven. $1,500 a month of cash flow. That is why people from all over the USA come here to Cleveland, right? Now, if you guys want to get into this property before making your offer, I highly think you should, right? You're going to want to narrow down that scope of work, right? I'm talking to you guys from 10,000 feet in the air right now. I'm just giving you guys a very like open-ended, vague description of what you need to do, right? You need to get in there and develop yourself a punch list on exactly what repairs you're going to want to do, right? So to do that, just send my team an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. We'll get you in there the same day if you hit us up before 5. If it's after 5, we'll get you in there the very next business day. Then after that, you can go ahead and submit your offers cash only to my team sales at holtonwise.com cash offers only although although i should not say that i shouldn't say cash offers only because we are totally going to be fine if you have hard money loan private money loan stuff like that right but what i'm trying to say what i really meant to say i suppose i should have said is no conventionally financed offers right because the conventional financing route's not going to work because the house is technically not livable because of course only one unit has heat and none of the units have hot water right so uh cash offers Private money lenders, hard money lenders. If you got that type of financing, that's fine. If you do need that type of investor financing, we could also provide that to you, right? So send everything to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. Let's go. We're at uh, 3438 East 113th. <laughs> Give me knowing where I'm at. That's a first. 
nice little neighborhood. Doors work. He's only working on one door. Huh, interesting. Backyard view. Yeah, back of the house is a little bit more fucked. Lots of foliage. Look down the shot. Yeah, I don't know if I'm put your shoulder into it, but I just did that. Is it on? Technically unlocked? Yeah, I mean the keys work on this map. Okay. But they don't work on these doors. This was unlocked. It's locked. It doesn't work on it only works on that one little knob. Alright. We're in. Okay, well that works. Why does my light not turn on? There we go. Where do you think we should put the lock box? Oh, dude, it, it was not a... Uh... Whoops. It's like the one we got here, bro. Yeah, definitely. Putting the keys here, though. Because we should still be able to at least lock it. Yeah, because... I was... No, oh, dude. That's why. That was technically locked. Well, there's probably going to be a key for that. I mean, I guess it's a good thing that the wall was made out of paper. Yeah. And that helped. Makes it a little easier. What the fuck is back here? Wow, it's like a pass-through to the other room. That's cool. Closet. Yeah. This place not bad inside. Who needs a new window? Those are new windows. Why the fuck are they so leaky? <laughs> Too bad. I didn't see a bathroom down here. Did I miss it? Yeah, no. Why is it nailed shut? No, you got that fucking kicker thingy in there. Nice, dude. The, the links you have to go to to protect the property on the east side are outrageous. Pretty standard right there. Well, let me tell you what. I could have got in there. I could have flimsy piece of wood. Then. I could have snapped that for sure. In fact, you have to do that. Yeah, it's a little unsettling. Hmm. 
moving on up to the second floor of the east side. Interesting brick. I like it. It's that faux, like, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's that fiber board. <laughs> Seasoned with love, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw from the outside there's no window in the oh, attic. Yeah, that's funny, is it? I wonder if you missed this set too. Probably hop on that too. They show the stairwell too, because we can access that door. We can certainly try. No, I mean like safety wise. Oh yeah. There's also that. There's our tree, dude. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay for a little porch. It's a little soft. Some raccoon shit. Nice. You think? I suppose it could be catch here. Some of that looks like Catch it. You guys tell me. Does that catch it? Me, Definitely shit. It's human shit. Also wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Oompa Loompa shit. It'd be a little surprising, but I'd be like, eh. Yeah, you'll have that on the inside. So was this screen door shut with this? Yeah. And it's just the stairwell. Fucking nothing going on there. Some seam cracks, not bad. Yeah, watch it from there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just want to get to the busted open. Is that fabuloso? Yeah, it is. Oh, hell yeah, bro. You know you're pretty proud of You see a blue label like that, it's one of two things. It's some kind of juice or it's. I was gonna say, I thought it was like some juice. Oh, well, actually, this bathroom looks okay. Probably the nicest Eastside property we've ever seen in a That's a newer toilet. Look, it's even got the pee pee poo poo. Oh shit! Yeah, I feel like they've been running. Right? Little pee pee poo poo switch. The attic is probably gonna be terrifying. Well, yeah, the floor's probably gonna be pretty soft though with all this leaking. Cause that's obviously where it's all coming from. You think? I don't know, man. It's hard to tell with that giant hole in the ceiling. I mean, they could have shot up from the floor, I guess, came from the Did you get that over room with the, uh, like the dining room? Yeah. On the baseboard. Don't tell me how to film, Derek. You do your thing, big dog. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here for the fun. Fucking power here, no way. Holy shit. You just had to kickstart the fucking thing. You see the pipe before. Window sills are fucked here too. Yeah, the I mean, it's probably like a 130 year old house, dude. Yeah. Oh no, I thought that was landlord special. It's just road shit. <laughs> That's cool. Love to see it. We got another droopy ceiling. That attic's gonna be an adventure. What's that, sir? Something about Stevano. You tell me what it is. I hate Terror Terror Yeah, it definitely says Arf. It will go someday. 
I'll, I'll do, do anything for life. Hmm. I don't know what that means. It doesn't make any logical sense. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, here. There's a few bucks up here. What? Yeah, it's fucking super hot. I can't get that. I'm fucking five foot tall. Reach for it. There you go. There's a thing. There you go. There's probably fuses in there. <laughs> it's not it's functional. It's, Somebody's still paying electric here, though. That's kind of scary. Yeah. Oh, it's like a partially finished attic. Yeah. Oh, it's like fully finished. Probably trying to turn it into a third unit. Yeah. That's cool. Be half of the house, though. Oh man, there's a door. Yeah. How did the ceiling fall down downstairs? I mean, outside of water coming in from there and raccoons. Let me guess there's probably windows that are covered up or some shit. Watch your feet. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. I see it now. Yeah, this view. <laughs> Just need some seam table pair. These raccoons come in, they just fuck everything up. This shit where I want. Hole in the ceiling. That's the thing that's scary though, is like when you look at these, it looks like tiny like human hands. Oh yeah, there's also no front window. That's cool. You think they're coming in from the front and then leaving through the back? They might be coming in through the back though, because there's like a ledge down there. Oh. Makes it a little easier to climb up it. <laughs> Alright, now we get to go into the terrifying dungeon. I'd be nice and put their window back, but it won't stay. I mean, it's just going to fall through with one gust of wind anyway. Yep. All in all, though, this is a solid little property. Yeah, oh, compared to what we normally do. Yeah, right. What the fuck? Oh. Oh yeah, I could definitely broke through there. Yeah, that thing's flying out. Oh, ha! Oh, the furnace is gone already. Oh, what? No, there's one over there. Oh, yeah, okay. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, it went to sleep. How the fuck were you using here? Yeah, it's actually supposed to go this way, big dog. Okay, stop. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> yeah, that's like half of the Delmar fucking eviction. It just kept flipping around. Yeah, for whatever reason, it went to sleep like it wasn't on. Like it's not. The batteries were full. Now they're three or two. <clears throat> Maybe I hit something. It's not Dunk. impossible. Downski. Sora labeled. This one completely unlabeled. I'm just happy to here. You got a, a hot water tank. Some assembly required. No furnace there. So there's one out of two furnaces. This one doesn't look bad either though. Might be a new one. Oh, you know what? I wonder if someone snagged that one. Because it looks like these were probably put in at the same time. It's got the same mm -hmm. shitty ducting. Oh, that one looks good. You know, surprisingly enough, there's no like weird shit here. Uh, speak for yourself, dude. Look at this little shoe. Tiny as fuck, dude. Look <laughs> at a shoe for eight. Wait, uh, it's a Oompa Loompa shoe. Shit. 
weirdest. I, to I told you they were real, dude. I knew. I watched that Wonka movie. I was like, those things are real. <laughs> those bitches are real. Those things are definitely real. Fucking real. What's in here? Uh, this sucks. We gotta get someplace, sent someplace that's just like a, a fucking war zone. Fucking, uh, like maybe they'll send us to Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> Start selling houses there. Probably guys gotta be pretty affordable now. They're under under siege, under attack. Right? Yeah. I'll spend some time over there filming bombed out houses. That's right up my alley. I mean, I get excited like a kid in a candy store when we show up to a place that's got no windows, no doors, and oh, nobody's yeah. touched it since '98. Oh, man. what the fuck? Looks like maybe an old tub drain. It's gotta be some sort of plumbing. Weird. Where's the stack at, though? Oh, it's right here. So here's the stack. I mean, all things considered. Not bad. This isn't horrible. No, I mean, like I said, compared to what we normally deal with. Here's one of those wild compa capacitor things we see all the time. I've got like the phone wires in them. Yeah. I don't know what those do. Careful, it's a little rocky. I wish somebody would explain to me what those things do. Ugh. Rocky road. Nobody. I mean, it's, it did stop Derek. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't try that far. Well, the keys don't work on that door either. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> Yo! What kind of bone is that? manager does this to your doorknobs. You should invest in a new property manager. <laughs> I see that they put bars on these windows. And I feel like these ones are just as easily accessible. Here's another mystery. I'm not sure what this says. Something brown. This tree is pretty dope though. Oh, I left my phone in the car. Thank God you locked it. Yeah. Dude, I would lock it if we were in West. <laughs> it's doubly locked here. Yeah. What do you think? I just put it like right in the center there. In the center? Mm-hmm. And then before, when you get ready, are you doing the drone? I think I'm going to just do it quick. It's okay. Kind of windy. When you head back to grab the drone, I'll uh, I'll just get another still of the front of the house for with the sign. Yeah, with the sign. I got you. You could probably just do like another walk up. Yeah, but the gimbal batteries are now at zero, so I'm at like straight locked axis. So like, this is probably. I was like, holding it like a freaking assault rifle at Delmar because it like died. I was just like holding it. What's up, Bailiff? How you doing? <laughs> He's like, uh, what are you doing, psycho? Like, you, you saw it stop working. 
Kind of sad I missed that one. What were you doing at that? Lifting. I think I, I think I had to go way in for something. Yeah, it was right. definitely something where you were not a little bit. Hell yeah. That's good to me. <laughs> Perfect. Hold my eyes. Or as the people who graciously send us those cards all the time, hold up heist. <laughs> Bastards. Fan mail? Yeah, our fan mail. Steps are a little janky. Ooh, stepped in a hole. Uh, 3438 East 113th. Pretty sure I got this side, but I definitely got it from the back. It looks okay. All right. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.